good afternoon guys uh, so today i'm going to actually show you a vb call uh, vb code uh, on the user forms right how you can actually prepare a very beautiful user forms right and uh, it's quite simple actually and uh, it it does though it doesn't look so simple uh, you know it looks very classy actually and and it makes you feel that you know you have done a really really very uh, you know a lot of work behind these uh, forms actually uh, this is my form this is what I actually I'm going to tell you how you can prepare this uh, but they are actually quite simple to use you know uh, simple to prepare <coughs> so uh, what exactly we are doing is we have created two uh, boxes here and uh, uh, if I say that add you know and it, it'll say that you're adding Jan to another list box so there, there has to be some space between Jan and 2 which will create uh, so it is going to be added and similarly if you will add this then it is going to be added you're going to add April to another list box which is this list box and in case if you want to remove it it will ask you are you sure you want to remove if you say cancel it's it is not going to remove and if you say yes I want to remove then certainly you can actually remove these contents right so you might be wondering that uh, the form looks very beautiful so where exactly I can use it uh, so this is just a dummy form and uh, what you can do is maybe you can actually uh, pass on the different parts here you know workbook parts here like uh, if something is you know uh, something is in your D drive or C drive and so on you know you can uh, ro pass on these pa you know uh, file pass here and then uh, whatever from wherever you want to open the file uh, you can just uh, you know add this here and uh, the moment it this path will be added here you can actually say ok or maybe open you know and that that workbook is going to be open or otherwise uh, the other way around is that you might actually be interested in uh, suppose now I have uh, this workbook in this uh, workbook I have let's say 20-25 sheets so all the sheets can be extracted here and whatever the sheet you want to copy it and you know uh, paste the data from that sheet to some another workbook you can simply select this add this you know you can give this a good tool uh, you know a fantastic tool I would say to user and he can actually select all the files from here and then what he can do is uh, you can you know select all these uh, files and then he can click OK or you know whatever submit button whatever you want to create and all the files uh, you know not the files but all the sheets uh, your macro will run and it will go to each sheet uh, for let's say for the sheet Feb April and it will copy the data from there and it will you know paste in the another workbook so that's how you can actually do it so basically you just need to uh, program uh, the things under these buttons right so let's see how I actually have created this uh, so let me just cancel this and uh, say going by all right bye bye I'll just get you again go to the visual basic window and uh, over here I have actually prepared this uh, user form list you know so what I did is this is how you create the user form uh, click on the user form and the user form box will come and then here uh, in order to view what exactly the tools you want to actually drag it just click on the toolbox and from here we have created some label boxes you know these are the label boxes from list and to list I have uh, written it by going to the their property window and uh, similarly from here I have uh, you know drag these list boxes so if I click on this and if I try to drag this something like this you know you know that this list box will be dragged here and then I'll select this list box and press F4 or maybe you can go to the view and the property and this would appear here and here you can change the name you know this list box name whatever you want to and but for now I have not changed the name this is list box 1 and this is my as you can see in the name this is my list box 2 right and similarly I have created some buttons over here the command buttons these are the command buttons right I simply clicked here and I just you know dragged here and this is how you can get the command buttons here right so that's how these are the command buttons cancel ok add remove and uh, these are the labels from list if I select this you can check here that uh, in the caption I have written it from list right so whatever you write here uh, from if you write here from list and the moment you get out of this you see that this will be changed accordingly so this is for the naming convention and this is exactly for your this uh, coding purpose right so label one will be used in case if I want to use in the coding but for right now remember that I have created list box 1 and list box 2 and this is my combo box which I have named it as CMB add and this is I have named it as CMB remove and this is I have named it as CMB ok and this ok appears here because of the fact that I have written here in the caption ok and similarly in the cancel I have written here you know the cancel uh, but the name of the uh, this button is CMB actually cancel right so that's how so far our form is prepared 
and uh, everything is and uh, now you must be wondering that how i'm getting all these numbers uh, this is actually picking up picking up uh, you know this is picking up from here from this uh, let me just show you on the excel workbook i have created a range this is i have written some names in the worksheet which i'll hide later and uh, i'll just show you what exactly i have done here i've created actually name range if i go to this formula and i'll show you this name range so my month actually has this entire list right so that's my my month and similarly i have this my subject which is of course not a part of this form so i'll not talk about that so what you can do is uh, when you write your code just go to the view code when this form will be init initialized you know very for the very first time when this workbook is going to be open or maybe when you click on the macro and this form will pop up then what exactly you want to you know uh do you want to do with your code so i have said that on initializing this is the actual event on initializing the form what i want is this form should use this list box as you remember the list box user form list is my user form that's the name of my form and under this object my form object i have the list box one which is again my control uh, object and so this is a property of the row source and if i say that row source equals to my month and put it in the within the quotes then this range my month which has my name jan feb march april and so on you know it is going to be picked up and remember that this you have to write it in 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 the event user form initialize which you can change from here right if you want it that it should be uh, it should be available only when you actually click on the form or the double click on the user form then that something you can click here and you can write the code over here you know user form click right so this is going to work on the user form click a simple click but since i want that the moment this user form for the very first time gets initialized these values should be available so that user should not actually have to do anything else right so that's the uh, code for this and then what we did is uh, the important point is on this add button you know on this uh, add button what exactly you want to do because the list will be displayed here then what if he clicks on the add button so what exactly we are doing is we are saying that start we are running a loop uh, i as a variable and this will hold the value uh, up to 255 so i'm saying that for i equals to 0 to list box 1 dot list count so that's the list count is a property right it is going to count all the elements of the list element suppose if i run this code uh, right now i have 1 2 3 4 5 or maybe some blank entries here because my range is actually till i guess n 12 or n 10 whatever so it is going to count all the elements for me and why i'm subtracting one because the very first element actually the count for the first element the index for the first element under this list box would be zero so that's why i'm subtracting this and the moment uh, let me just show you how you actually what this is actually going to do is uh, let me just go to the view code and let's say that let pause the code let me just use this break code and come back to the code and do this let's say march and i'll add this the moment i'm going to click on the add this will run right now wh what exactly is going to happen is let's check so for i equals to 0 to list box 1 dot count as you can see here i have got the 10 items so 10 minus 1 would be would be 9 right because the very first element is going to start with the zero now why this is showing up 10 because uh, i have some space uh, as well there so every every s space has a index and that is why it is telling me this kind of a 10 right so if i go ahead and if i try to uh, maybe let me just come back here and let me just reset this code and let's go to the alt q is the you know to go back to the excel and let's say if i change this to i'm going to change the list actually i'll show you what exactly it means so let's say this time we'll shrink it to let's say a n 7 okay and press close you want to save the changes yes i want to save the changes now click on this button and let me try to add this now this time if i run this code you see that this list box is now showing me 7 right because i have just seven elements and subtracting one from it will make it 6 so that's how actually you play with the uh, loop and you add this property of this you know dot list count right now if this list box dot selected item which is now i equals to 0 because i am running the loop right uh, this i will have the zero value initially and then it slowly and slowly uh, this loop keeps on running in and it as it keeps on passing this next 
you know uh, the index will be increased by one so it will keep on increasing and I'll keep on getting the different index so right now in my this index zero if that is selected it is actually going to run this true and it is going to pop up this you are adding this list box item right so but this is not the case in this case so when I press F8 definitely it will skip this right because it is not something which I have selected if I'll show you I have selected actually 0 1 2 so it's gonna be this index number 2 right so again it will go to the else and then next and now this time it will go to the i and the i will be incremented by 1 from the 0 now this is again not selected so it will skip else and now this time it will go to the second position and this time it will actually give you the message box because this is what we have actually selected and not only this I have done some uh, adding here I'm displaying this message box that you're adding this is a string and the list box value which is the MAR March to the another list value so you'll get this something like this you're adding March to another list box which says okay fine so finally list box 2 dot add item will have this list box dot one value which is March right now remember that whenever we write the code in the VBA the blank values always comes uh, on the left side right on the left of the or this equals to sign here we don't have the equals to sign because the syntax structure is like this but you'll simply write that the list box 2 uh, now list box 2 is this item right this is which is blank so what exactly you want to add it here you want to add it here whatever the item is selected right so from the list 1 so that's why I've said that list box 1 dot value whatever is selected because it has run this selected item and obviously so selected one would be true and then you know it is going to st store this item uh, selected one to this list box one dot value and finally I'll get this added and this will go and if and then the loop will keep on running and since I can't select more than one item in this code particularly though you can select so this code will run like this and so that's how this code uh, is adding the things and similarly if you add this you're adding yes I want to add so this will be added now what would happen when you actually want to remove it right when you want to remove it please ensure that we are not repo removing the items from this list right we are just adding them so if I want to remove this it will be removed from this part only it is not going to remove from this list box one right because this is the main uh, primary my list box right so what you can do is um, let me just put this break code over here sorry not on the cancel but on the remove and come back to this file and just let's click on the remove now this remove click will be highlighted this will be triggered automatically right and now we'll have m as a variable which again can hold up to 1 to you know 255 uh, value so message box says are you sure you want to remove I'm just giving them the example and that's my button VB ok cancel you can even change it to uh, you know VB ok only in case if you don't want to give the uh, option to user that he can even cancel it in case if you know he changes his mind so if this is going to be okay are you sure you want to remove if I say yes I want to sure okay so now this M will have one value which means that the one actually value will hold this VB okay VB okay also holds this value as one if you're not sure about what I'm talking about right now what this means that you can simply select this and you can take the F1 help you know press F1 and uh, it will take you to the message box uh, numbers wherein you can actually go through all the boxes and what exactly they the value they hold right so this is entire this talks about the message box what exactly it is what all parameters it has and then this is what actually VB ok only the value is you know it is going to hold so what it means is that even if I write in this code VB ok only instead of this I can write as you can see here I'm hovering my you know this cursor and it's saying me giving the value 1 so even if I write in uh, 1 instead of this VB ok cancel it's just one of the same thing it's not going to affect the code right but it's always good to write VB ok cancel that's again your choice it, it has nothing I mean mandatory but if you write this like this you will always be you don't have to actually remember the code it will completely tell you, you know what kind of a code uh, what kind of a button would it be so my button would have the two buttons ok and cancel right button wizard uh, alright so if you scroll down you'll see that VB OK has a value 1, VB cancel has 2 and a bot has you know 3 and similarly all these values if, if I would have used a button VB yes no cancel then I would have written here you know the button equals to 6 or button equals to 7 whatever so that's why if you see this code 
it says VB OK. I have pressed the OK code. That's why this VB OK is actually giving me the one. So even if I, you know, if I write instead of this that if m equals to one, then do this. That's one of the same thing. But I would keep it as simple so that if somebody tomorrow, you know, will work on my code, he should be able to know that what exactly I'm doing. Otherwise, if he remembers the uh, values, then fine. Otherwise, he'll have to check, you know, what exactly the VB OK, VB cancel, and all the buttons, you know, holds the value. All right, so now m, e m equals to one and this is equals to one. So what will happen is this will go to the true condition. And in this, I have said that from the list box to remove the item. So what item is actually supposed to remove? It is actually supposed to remove the list box list index with the zero. The zero index, right? The one which I have selected there, right? So it is going to actually remove it and end if and the code will stop here. So that's how you can see here that it is actually left blank so what if i add this and uh, now let's just quickly run this code it is added now what you want to do is you want to remove it so i'm going to just remove this and this time it will again run are you sure you want to remove no i'm i don't want to remove by mistake i have just pressed i'll press cancel so this time now cancel button has some different value right so this vb okay which has a value one this will not be matching with the M so we because VB cancel has a value of two so obviously it will not go to the true condition and if I press F8 now it will go to the else and the code will be ended right it will not do any action it will not take any action right so that's how you can actually build this code and similarly uh, you can do a lot of other stuff you can press cancel and on cancel I have clearly said that if I cancel this then it should actually go here and it pop up the message box I'm going by and unload the user form that's how you actually say that you know to come out from the user form right so I haven't written anything on the OK but you can definitely if you want you can write it but this is how you know you can actually make these kind of a uh, user forms right which looks very very elegant and uh, especially for the person who doesn't know Excel very well or who doesn't know any Excel at all you can give these kind of a forms and from there they can you know uh, open the workbooks they can actually uh, do the copy and paste uh, you know a lot of lot of huge tasks you know uh, cumbersome tasks can be actually done with these forms right so that's that's it for now and uh, you can definitely uh, go to my pl playlist if, if you're interested in watching some more videos on the VBA I have go to my this playlist right uh, under my name Ajay and uh, so far four videos are uploaded in the conditional formatting MS access has just one video uh, VBA and uh, all the excel files i have uploaded 61 videos uh, right now Th though the videos are like 72 i have still to upload these videos over here but definitely you can actually go to my you know uh, the other uh, parts as well like on the excel video you can go and check the 41 videos there on the charts five videos and on arrays five videos again on the format cells every video is very very unique must watch this format cells video and uh, you'll come to know 14 videos 14 techniques how you can actually customize your formatting you know the cells and this is what I was talking about this video I'll upload here in the VBA video and you can definitely watch this 18 video you know all together in the playlist one by one right so that's it for now guys and uh, don't forget to write me in in case uh, if you're looking for some information that's my email ID and uh, I would be more than happy to assist you and up I'll go ahead and upload the video on the same right if I get your this request and for Excel learning basic advanced intermediate or maybe if you're looking for the VBA training or maybe for the MS access or MS access VBA just write me in and because I am going to start a batch very soon and uh, possibly if I get your these nominations before that date um, maybe by the before the next week uh, so we still have uh, seven days to go so let me just write me in and uh, we can definitely talk on that and we can you know s start the training and you can be as awesome in Excel as you know any any anyone could be right with the, of course with a lot of hard work and so thank you so much guys and have a very very good day and very happy learning bye bye